I'm Lisa and I welcome you to Power Up with Lisa Wisner, a space where we share tips and life hacks on how you can live your life like a power up hero in real life. Coronavirus changed our lives as we know it and we may still be feeling like we live in 2020. One of my friends, Molly, said that it feels like the world came to a complete standstill and in many parts of the world it probably still is and maybe just in your own house, it may feel like that today. We're not meant to live in isolation like this. So I want you to take a moment to let you know that if it's hard for you right now, it's totally okay. This is not normal and it's okay to not be okay. But as hard and as hopeless as it may seem, just know that there's light. Depending on where you live, we are in March 2021 but it can feel like we're living reminders of 2020, right? So for me, the hardest thing has been my physical freedom being taken away, but I learned that it was an opportunity for me to create mental freedom. So today I'm going to share with you my top five tips to stay positive. First thing is for you to pay attention because you have two choices. You can either be positive or negative and I'm not just saying it's just about saying I'm positive about everything but it's about seeing the silver lining and then also having acceptance to the situation we're in and then using that strength to think about how you can build yourself up or your community up or your family up the second thing is to focus on self-care you really have to dig deep and think about how you can be supported you know when you think about our day-to-day -day distractions Powering up your self-care is really the thing that will help you clear and eliminate the thoughts and feelings of anxiety, stress, and panic. Honestly, for me, learning how to meditate and just taking that as a self-care habit was really like being best friends with my mind. So self-care can also be about your gratitude. So appreciate the things that you have. Maybe write down a few things that you're grateful for, you know, positive breeds positive. So if you do this, like for example, first thing in the morning, then you boost your day. So some examples of the things that I'm grateful for right now are like access to nutritious food to fuel my body, having shelter, I have a house, and then my body's capability of working out whenever I want. So just think of what you're, you're, uh, gra you're grateful for. The third thing is, you know, if you love social media, then fill your feed with goodness. Follow companies and people who bring positive messages. You know, the, the next thing I want to share, though, is our own individual contributions have an impact if we tack them on to other people's impacts. So it's important for you to know that your contribution of being positive is just as strong as other people's. So you need to share posts too. You become that person that other people want to follow because you're spreading the light. The next thing is for you to focus on your sleep to power up. Take this time to get as much sleep as possible. You know, we know what it feels like to get a good night's rest. It's really important for you to swallow that medicine of get a good night's rest. If you feel a little drowsy during the day, that's actually harming you. So make sleep that magic pill that helps you stay positive and just keep yourself powered up by thinking about how can you optimize your sleep because sleep is not just about a surrender and you're like gone into this abyss of nothingness. Your body needs it to be able to recuperate and then help you wake up with that positive attitude because you were able to recover from what you did in previous days. And number five, Learn something new. Learn a new language online. Buy a new cookbook. Try something healthy to boost your immune system. Learn how to edit videos online. Maybe you can just jump on YouTube and learn anything. You can learn how to do makeup, your hair. You can learn gardening. You could brainstorm a new business idea. You can take some online yoga classes. You can maybe plan your next adventure. Learn how to plan, travel, create a budget for it. Think about how learning something new could be the thing that helps you daydream into staying positive this month. 
There are so many tips. So now it's your turn. Think of one thing that you can do this month that will have a positive effect on you and your future self will thank you for it. I'm Lisa Wisner and I hope you are educated, inspired, and motivated to be a power up hero because our world needs heroes today more than ever before. Make it a powered up day.